the consul's car. Right, because these are all traffic cases. Right, 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 right. All right, what do you have for us next? Ooh, yeah, the camera work in this is pretty good. I, again, maybe I'm just okay, used to we're we're playing some of the older games recently. The DA. First up, Phelps, my impression, the uh, my impression is a at a very low bar. Abandoned an empty lot off Second Street between Olive and Grand. Okay. DR is one Oswald Jacobs says hmm. the vehicle was dumped in his backyard. That's very strange. There's I guess we'll have to get huh, down there and see what a you dumped can turn car. Up. Any questions? I guess that would make sense. It needs to be investigated, right? Someone has to do it. You can't just, like, take the car and, like, crush it and be like, ah, case wages. closed. Rimsky, O'Halloran. Intelligence has information on a stolen car rack. Ooh. Again, I feel like that there, there's a good opportunity for the good ones, huh, Phelps? A, a great, like, like ye olde Fast Nobody and Furious movie. shiny new Packard unless they borrowed it without asking. You don't say. On fire today. <laughs> Very funny. Yeah, I, I feel like you, you gotta be busting up coal as much as you can because the guy seems to have quite the ego. Oh, that door is closed. Bard. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. If they give us a dispatch, I will definitely do it. Yeah, I do enjoy the driving in this. Like, despite the cars being older, they do feel like, you know, they actually feel good to control. You hear about Adrian? Brought to Seattle, threw him out. Of course. Going to take him back. Oh my Women God! Show what? Passion. What are you talking about? Adrian dumped on her. He was humping the secretary. Margaret should show some pride. Pride comes before a fall, Mikowski. Oh. Interesting. What, what what happened with Cole? Okay, so this is where the car was dumped. Gotcha. All right, this is the backyard of Jacobs. Gotcha. Okay. Very strange that this real nice car is just dumped here. Phelps, traffic. I'm Officer Houlihan. All right. The car's down the alleyway, detectives. All right, we'll check it out. Thanks for the heads up, Houlihan. Great name, by the way. It's so close to Hooligan. We got a call about an abandoned vehicle. Yeah, who yes, called us in? The car has flags. Might be some kind of diplomatic oh. vehicle. Has anyone touched this vehicle since you arrived? Interesting. No. A diplomatic and that car. Over there was on station before hmm. I got here. We'll talk with him in a moment. Give us some time to look the place over. Yeah. Sure, take your time. He's a sore-headed old son of a bitch anyway. All right. Like like usual, let's let's do our look around before we actually talk with anyone. Just in case that it provides us information that will make the whoa, investigation go earlier or um, go faster. Hmm. So we have a baseball diamond back out here. All right, what do we got? What are, what are we looking at here? Ah, another again. Everything is matchbooks. I mean, that is very noir. Doesn't appear to be connected. Okay, so nothing with that. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't have an obvious connection. All right, what do we got here? Just a baseball and a glass. Oh no! I doubt it. Oh, it's like it's like a piece of tubing. That's definitely just a baseball. I'm assuming it's just a baseball, unless it's covered in blood. No, no, nope, nope, just a regular old baseball. <laughs> All right, so what are we doing next? Oh, I'm so glad we chose to play this in black and white. I love the look of this. Like super high contrast. Huh, oh, what do we got here? Combination huh. wrench. Dewey Brothers. Must have used it to remove the wheel lugs. Hmm. Okay, so I wonder if Dewey Brothers is a garage? Uh, what do we got over here? Just some beer bottles? Yeah, standard stuff. At some point, this has got to mean something, right? We're going to find it's a beer dental. bottle that, you know, has has someone's, like, phone number or, or fingerprints or, or a bloody handprint on it or something. It doesn't look like anything. Okay. Anything in the trash? Nope. Hmm. It's a baseball bat. A bloody no. It's just a regular baseball bat. Probably nothing. Yeah. Interesting. Anything over here? Again, we we, we found that gun in the trash so early. I I, I can't help but want to just investigate it all. All right. So let's go to the car now. We did our peripheral look. Yeah. This thing is a real fancy. No plates. We'll have to use yeah. the registration to trace the owner. Mm hmm. It is very curious. 
And again, a tire is missing. Why the hell would you dump this car here and then take one tire? Stealing the wheels is for huh. amateurs. Yeah. Car ring would have stripped it in a warehouse. Especially with a car of, of this value, right? Hmm. Okay, so the window got smashed in. One of the flags is missing, too. Just taking the flag as a souvenir. Can't have yeah. any street value. Maybe got banged off? Yeah. Like maybe the, the there was an accident and it got knocked off? Oh, what do we have here? All right, so we have the registration and information. Sold by the Argentinian embassy. Yeah. Huh. So we don't know who was driving it, but it was definitely an ambassador's car. Oh, we got all the clues. Really? Nothing in the trunk or anything? Okay. Nope. Nothing in here. Empty. Yeah, completely empty. Hmm. Okay, so we do have Dewey Brothers. Maybe we can uh, make a phone call about that. Car was dumped in his backyard after. Yeah, very strange. Can we uh, use this to make a call about Dewey Brothers? Is it a garage, maybe? Phelps, one, two, four, seven. Yeah. How could I help, detective? We have we have a wrench here. Could you run the name Dewey Brothers? Yeah, okay, yeah. Possibly a dealership or car mechanics workshop. Yeah, something like that. One moment. Okay. Dewey Brothers. Great, so we got another location then. Six two nine Figueroa Street. Thank you so much. Got it. Your Thank treasure. You. Do you know what? At least Cole's got good phone etiquette. Though I imagine most people back then had phone etiquette. Being that it was such a rare occurrence. All right, let's have a little chat with this Oswald curmudgeonly Jacob. guy. That's right. What exactly happened here, Mr. Jacobs? Yeah. Last night, I was looking out of my window. Mm -hmm. I like to keep an eye on what's going on. Okay. I can understand that. You see this empty lot? Damn kids play stickball here. Always that... breaking my windows. Okay, that's Always not so asking great. For their ball back. Can we get back to the car? Yeah, Mr. The, the car thing, Don't not, not the, the thing Sonny. that you don't like them playing baseball. Anyway, <laughs> last night I see this brand spanking new Packard up yeah. on bricks. Pretty strange. Okay, what can you tell us about it? Did you see who stole the Packard? Hell yes, I did. I saw three goddamn Mexicans going to work. Oh on. no. All right, let's see. Uh, 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 I mean, I don't know, but it, I think they're Argentinians. That's the thing. I think he's like full of it. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to say good cop. Can you tell us what they were doing? Using the headlights of an old Ford so they could strip the thing. I yelled uh. out to him, I'll call the cops. So they loaded up their car and drove off. Interesting. Tooting and hollering and yelling obscenities at me in Mexican. You speak Spanish? I don't sir? think. No, I do not. Yeah, I don't know if he speaks. Yeah, okay. Okay, so what can you tell us about the suspects? After the uh, Mexicans left, you didn't go anywhere near the car? After I scared them off? No, I didn't go anywhere near that car. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, <laughs> oh, I've seen this gif. I've seen the gif of this guy. Okay. Huh. I don't trust it. Look at this face. Yeah, okay. You went out to the car. Yeah, what do you got for Once me? Once they were gone, you had to take a look for yourself. Yeah. I was curious. Ain't a law against that. Hmm. So what if I took a look around that yeah, car? Yeah, I mean, it's not that you weird. You can't be accusing me of nothing. Can't blame him for doing that. But did he find anything? Okay. Tell me about the car they yeah, were driving. Well, you said they were driving an old, an old Ford. Ford. Anything about that? Oh, I didn't damn it. the license number. That's not helpful. Hmm. Yeah, I'm assuming he would want to snitch as soon as he could get the chance, so I'll, I'll believe him. You look like God, that's so funny. I've seen the gif of that before. You're right there. The car was old, but oh. it looked brand new. Candy apple red paint job stands Candy out Candy apple mine. red, okay. Hmm. So they were stripping the thing for parts. What exactly did you see them take? They was working on the tires. That's all that was took. That's very strange. But we know that the flag is missing. Oh, yeah, he's doing his dumb squint again. Okay. We don't have any evidence, so I'm assuming we have to bad cop him. Right. So what did you take, Jacobs? Do you want my partner to pat you down? I found a notebook in the glove compartment. Oh. I was going to show you. 
It's on the chair on my Were port. you, though? You didn't seem like you didn't come forward with that right Thank away. Thank you for your help, Mr. Jacobs. Okay, we got it all right. I was wondering, because I feel like maybe we got the first statement. one wrong. When you get okay. the car out of the way, maybe you could come back and do something about those kids. Well, how about we bring you an umpire's mask? Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Are you going to come get that for me? No. Uh, so what do we have? Can we take a look at that? Clues. Uh, no. What do we have for locations? So we have backyard that we're at, but it's not struck through. Those no account beaners used oh, to own God. the whole of Los Angeles. Yeah, there's a but lot of terms that you should, you, you know, you shouldn't have said out. them back then, but especially not now. Oh, this is it. Oh, oh, there. He left it on the, the, the bench. I didn't even see that. Okay. Oh, new person of interest. Juan Francisco Valdez. Interesting. John Madsen. Okay, so we have the owner of the vehicle. A degenerate. I'll run oh. John Madsen by R&I. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I guess we'll, we'll, yeah, can we investigate this any, any further? Hmm. William Dewey. Contact oh, details on Dewey, William Dewey, as in, as in the automotive like shop. Rather than pleasure. Yeah. Curious. Okay, we found everything here. Okay. Hmm. I guess we can make the phone call about the guy, right? See if we, if we know where he uh, lives. Then maybe we can talk with him. Phelps badge 1247. How could I help, detective? Can you put me through to Michigan 2458, please? Uh-huh. Connecting you now. See if they got a, a line on this guy. Hello, can I help you? LAPD, ma'am. We're looking for a can John I speak to Madsen. John Madsen, please. He's at school, officer. Uh oh, he's at What's school. He's so he's a young guy. Hmm. How old is your boy, ma'am? Yeah. He just turned 16. Oh, young, okay. Hmm. Wrong person, Mrs. Matson. Sorry to disturb you. Interesting. Messages for me, please. There's just one message for you. Oh, detective. okay, we have a message. A four door Packard diplomatic license uh -huh. number, Paul Robert. Yep, that's. That's probably the one we're, we're looking at. By Juan Francisco Valdez. Could you have him brought in? He's already here at Central Detective. He's oh. demanding an audience. Oh, as he okay. Calls it. So I guess we got to go back to uh, Central then, and then I guess we can go can you to Captain Leary. Tell him we'll be in as soon as we can. Yeah, yeah, we'll we'll go Thanks. there first, and then we'll go to uh, the Dewey. What was it? Dealership or garage? Whatever it is, the Dewey Brothers' place. Can you cordon off this lot until we have the vehicle impounded? Yes, sir, Detective. Man, we'll the the the, the, the performance capture stuff. I, I know I've I'll mentioned it a whole bunch, and I'm kind of you know beating a dead horse here, but it still looks so goddamn good. Like, there are, there are parts where the seams are obvious. All right, so let's go back to Central. It's right around the corner, so it shouldn't take too long. All right, so who is the... I'm assuming this is the, the diplomat who the car actually belongs to, right? Or who was using Juan it. Francisco Valdez in for questioning. Sure do, Phelps. Your bird's an in interview, too. And get this. He's wearing gloves and doing his best oh. not to touch anything. Can you beat that? <laughs> Sounds hmm. like we don't want to keep this guy waiting. No, I feel like this, this guy way. is uh, uh, someone of some importance. So he must be the diplomat from Argentina. That's the guy. All right, let's have a little chat. How's it going, buddy? Oh. About time. Are you the senior officer I requested? Yes, we I'm are. Detective Phelps, and this is Detective Pekowski. Have you any idea how long I've been waiting to speak with you? Uh, no, we, we only got told now. And you keep me here. God damn. I'm in criminal. All right, friend. Let's take a deep Ooh. breath and start all over again. Mr. Valdez, all right. Council General. I okay, insist okay, on my okay whatever. All right, so the Packard purchase history. Where did you purchase the car? My secretary and driver arranged the purchase. Hmm. A disreputable place, a Dewey Brothers by name. Okay. As soon as I can have it arranged, I will have my Hispano Suiza brought up from Buenos Aires. Huh. Interesting. Hmm. Kind of got a bit of a shifty look, but I have no idea. But I don't have any evidence, but I don't really trust him, though. 
Dewey Brothers isn't the place that he bought. Uh, I don't know. I forget what Dewey Brothers was. Uh, do you know it's bad car? Bought a Packard, Valez. Yeah. It's not like you doesn't drive an American car. I want answers. It's or very I'll weird. Smack you around the teeth. Yeah, why are you William driving Louis this car? Offered me a substantial oh. to make a purchase at his establishment. I'm trying to watch this guy carefully. It is not unusual to make this kind of transaction in the civil service. Oh, tell that to the Argentine taxpayers. Oh. Okay, so interesting. So he was bribed to buy the car, but why? Okay, so it was stolen. How did Consul it get stolen? General, we have located yeah. the car. Can you tell us how it was stolen? I'm watching this guy carefully. It must have been stolen from the council garage. Okay. Terribly inconvenient, of course. I want the perpetrator soundly flogged. Unfortunately, we don't do that here, your worship. I don't... Uh, oh, this guy is, like, super antsy in, in his chair. I don't trust them. I'm going to bad cop him again. You have a pretty good idea who stole the car, don't you, Consul General? Are you going to tell me, or do I shake yeah. it out of you? How the hell There's did they no get this car? For violence. I suspect... Disgruntled huh. from the car dealership. But you have a name for why? this kid? Why? Yeah, yeah. Gabriel, like the archangel. I have no surname. No surname. So Gabriel something. Okay. So uh, how are you associated? And why would he want to take this car from you? So tell us about this kid. Especially Gabriel. since it's an American you had car. A run in with him. Mechanical. A presumptuous young man who okay. did not know his place. He presumed to ask me. Oh, okay. What questions are those? Here in the United States, Consul General, it comes with the turf. Huh. Hmm. Do we? Uh, I mean, this guy is shifting in his chair. I think he's lying again. But do we have? Hold on. Do we have anything in our notebook? Um. Can't remember if we. Huh. So there's the wrench from the place. Alleged bribery. Because he was in this notebook, right? Yeah. This has gotta be this has gotta be it. I you think he's full of boys, shit. Are you oh a god. god. This will cause an international incident. Oh. Hold on. Oh. Right, because this is his notebook. And it was, oh, describing boys and what they liked. Danny, Ben, Miguel, Tristan, and Teddy. Oh, I didn't even, oh God, that is Forwards. very dark. Ring any bells? I'm sure we can come to some Oh no, arrangement. we are gonna book your ass. Gabriel, spill it. Yeah. Why the hell is he pissed at you? but impertinent boy. Oh, I mentioned piece of garbage. And the young man went quite insane. I thought he was going to kill me. I was prepared to pay. Yeah, except they're children, we'll you piece touch, of shit. Consul General. Unfortunately, I believe, at least at the time especially, he, he's going to have immunity. God damn this piece of shit. And that also checks out with the phone call we made to uh, the other name in the book... And the and the kid was only sixteen years old. Gadget whiz putting recording devices into the place. Okay, so let's get out of here. Uh, so what's next? Oh uh, yeah, the mechanic shop. Mechanic shop. Or dealership. Oh, Thank but you God. need to keep an eye I'll on. I'll get him. rid of him in a couple of hours. Yeah, you hold him here. How about that? God damn it. Okay, so what happened there? I guess this is like a. Right here. Revenge? Like maybe maybe the console tried to do something? Oh wow. Well, me too. Okay, shins. Here we ship. Alright. Excellent. And it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Yes, I know I'm a menace. It's fine. Alright. Up the hill. Mr. Valdez moves in some peculiar circles for an international bon vivant. Ah, English, please. Oh, See, come on. See, this is why nobody invites you out for drinks. <laughs> it's just yeah. very industrious of him to be so involved mm -hmm. in matters of consular transportation. All right, you're making it worse. Yeah, now. it's very strange that he, he, that he was bribed to buy this car. Crap as a Christmas goose. That is well. Yeah, there's something else going on here, but I'm not quite sure what it is. His notebook is now way more disturbing in context. I was like, what is this about? 
but yes. There's there's a darker. Oops, sorry about that. But we gotta go fast. Uh, dealership. This is probably like a dealership garage combo, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's see what we can find out about Gabrielle. Wait, oh, was this the Don't car dealership from the opening? You're making your way past the lot, caught sight of the new model four door, and couldn't help yourself. Yeah, something you like that. You see yourself in uh -huh. that car and just had to take a God, closer God, this guy look. already pouring well, on his, his best car dealership <laughs> pitch, like, out of the gate. LAPD, Mac. We'd like to speak with the owner. That's me, William Dewey. Okay, so you are William service. Dewey. So we We're need to talk to you. We're investigating the theft of a Packard belonging uh -huh. to the Argentine Embassy. Are you missing a combination wrench? I don't know, detective, but I know how we can find out. Follow me. This guy seems so full of it. I don't trust him. Something's going on here. So, the wrench. Hmm. What does that have to do with it? Other than we it just links us here. In here. I'm assuming we're going to find one missing, right? Oh, right yeah. We look around. Yep, we're going to have to put hey, everything back. Guest. You okay. sure you guys aren't interested in a new car? No, no, it's fine. Maybe a used car. I have some nice used cars hmm. for guys in your way. Like that fits. No, maybe it goes down here. Why don't you give us some alone time, Dewey? Go sell some no. cars or whatever it is that you do here. Here? There we go. Okay. They just look bigger when he's holding them. So this one looks like it definitely goes up here. I'm assuming the 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 Gabriel Delgado is our guy here, right? This down here. Yep. Okay. And nope, oh, the one below it. That's there not we right. Go. There we go. And this one, one left. Uh huh. Goes right here. So his three quarter. Delgado yep. Is missing a three quarter. And I think we know where that three quarter wound up. So who is Gabriel or Gabriel? Hmm. Is there anything else around here that we can find? I kind of want to investigate. These interiors are so lovingly created. I always like to at least take a good look around. Ah, oh, we got California plates here. This isn't what we're looking for. No. Hmm. Anything else around here? What is this? Some sort of pry bar? Not much help. Yeah, it looks like a chisel or, or something for a prying implement. Hmm. I do enjoy the sound design of this. It's it's really gritty. Oh, what do we got here? Just a screwdriver? I mean, none of this is, like, very incriminating, this right? pertain to the case. Yeah, this is all stuff that just should belong in a garage, right? All right, we got plates on the wall. Oh. Okay. We need diplomatic plates. Yeah, these are non-diplomatic plates. Okay. Okay, we found everything here. Okay. So we looked through all the plates. We found where the rent, missing wrench came from. Let's have a, a little chat with our dealer buddy here. Mr. Dewey himself. If you don't mind, we have a few questions. Yeah, just a couple things. Okay, spill the beans. How do you know Valdez and why were you... Packards are great cars. I guess paying for him like the kind to of drive a Packard. By yeah. Embassies. Mm -hmm. How do you know Valdez? I don't know Valdez. The embassy oh, bought the car. We already got All the skinny on this. We know we know Paul what's going on here. Uh-huh. Okay, so do I have the evidence for this? Um Ah, uh, alleged bribery. Okay, there we go. So that's gotta be it, yeah. Okay, so we'll accuse you. And I know a shyster when I see one. You and Valdez are in this together. Whatever this Me and is. Valdez, I hardly know him. Valdez we already have his testimony. Uh-huh. No way, buddy. Yeah. You paid him to take this car. We've talked to Valdez. He was very obliging. He told us all about the arrangement the two so of So you might want to share your side of the story, maybe? Hmm? Hmm? Okay. Wait, you so met him in a, met bar. Valdez in a bar. What circles do we you share? Deal, he bought the car through the embassy. Okay. I cut him some change on the side. It happens all the time. All right. Hmm. Okay, so the embassy buys the car, and 
Valdez gets a little off the top. Okay, so where do you know uh, about Gildado? Where can Delgado? We find Delgado? Yeah, I don't know. He sure as hell isn't here. But wait, you don't know where your own? Oh, you? Oh, okay, buddy. Yeah, you're shady as hell. Address, Dewey, or my partner shoves. Yeah, where do you send his door. like pay okay, slips or, right. or? Come on. Apartment three one oh three Hill wow. Street. You are very accommodating. And tell from me. If he ever shows his face around here again, I'm gonna kick his butt from here to Kingdom oh, Come. Oh, jeez. Oh, so there's some bad blood between them too. So we know that the wrench is used. A wrench from this dealership was used to strip the wheels from a Packard last night, Mr. Yeah. Dewey. A couple of Hispanics were seen taking parts. We've had a spate of thefts ourselves. Comes uh -huh. with the location. Even bastards to steal anything the minute your back is I'm... turned. No, 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 something's, no, you're, you're full of it. What are you hiding, Dewey? Yeah. Spill it. You don't want the LAPD getting too interested in this place. So I hire a few illegals. It's hmm. cheaper than hiring returning GIs. And they have less attitude. Ah, damn. Downside Everyone here sucks. <laughs> I mean, it's a noir story. Life. It's full of uh, slime balls and sleaze bags. Thank you for your help, Mr. Dewey. Okay, no so we problem. got the location of, of Delgado's apartment. Kid. I'm just an honest car salesman. Yeah, okay. Seems like you just don't know who you can trust these days. Uh huh. Going to movies, Dewey. You're missing your calling. Yeah, yeah. You're a great actor, Time to buddy. Visit Gabriel Delgado. See how good his excuses. Your act ain't that good. But you know, maybe you can make it in Hollywood. All right. So we need to head off and see if Delgado has any insight. I guess the main thing we're still missing is the flag from the car, right? Hmm. All right. Ooh. Okay. Okay. We're cool. We're cool. We're cool. Don't worry about it. All right. Didn't want to murder those people if I can help it. <laughs> you read the story in the Examiner about the mm. Navy developing three-dimensional movies. Ooh, it's three dimensions. dimensions. You know, like a yeah. Graph. Vertical axis is and Z y, is depth. horizontal is x. Well, that's clear as mud. Third dimension would be Z. So yeah. things would be popping out of what? the What? I could never imagine such a thing. That's ridiculous. Scare people out of the theater. God's name would want that. I don't know. People <laughs> scoffed at the idea of talkies and colors. Yeah, look, what we have now. Uh -huh. look at what we have now. Man, I do love the music in this game. It is, like, very appropriately chosen. Okay, so I'm assuming this is the place. Hmm. What do we got here? Oh, no, it's around the corner here. All right. Who might you guys be? The Delgado residence. Hmm. Who do we have here? All right, so okay, there's some guys outside. Has to say for himself. I wonder let's if any of these guys... Hasn't already flown. Who might you fellas be? What's going on? You guys want to chat? What the hell is this guy doing? No, apparently not. All right, you guys keep to yourselves. Hmm. All right, knock, knock, knock. Oh, not even a knock, knock, knock. I guess it is an apartment, right? So is there a... No, there is no list of who, who lives in which, which room. All right. But I believe he said 103, right? So I'm assuming this is it. Okay. Is yes. uh, a Gabriel LAPD, Delgado here? We're looking for Gabriel Delgado. Gabriel? We're from the police. Policia, you understand? Yes, I understand. Don't need to be so condescending, dude. Could you come inside? Come on, Bukowski. What is your name? Ana Rodriguez. Is Gabriel Delgado here, Ms. Rodriguez? No. Hmm. What do you want with Gabriel? Well, maybe. Is he in trouble? Stay where you are, Miss Rodriguez. We need to take a look around. But he is not here. I have told you. Check out the surrounds. I'll stay with the broad. Okay, so we're looking around. So maybe there's some evidence that he was here, though. So how far along are you, Anna? Oh, the diplomatic flag. Nearly 20 weeks. Yeah, the Argentinian right. flag. So Two years are a dumb move. Yeah, it seems like a real dumb idea. You are wrong about Gabriel. Oh, I did not think we were just going to find that right out Already in the open. Circumstantial. Provide for us. 
Yeah, it's just a Bible. <laughs> Unless you help us here, okay. your little one won't be seeing Papa for a very long time. Hmm. Here. It's the photo here. Ooh, very nice. Difficult to tell whether it's the suspect vehicle from the scene. Yeah, we're not sure. And they gave real pride and joy. Yeah, whatever this... Whatever that car is, it may have been the one from the, the, the crime scene. Hmm. That was seen stripping the car. Hmm, he saw something here. Oh, is it on the table? Yeah. Oh. Two plates. So for two. Uh-huh. Should have cleared up. Yeah. Very conspicuous. Anything else here that we can look at? Nope. Nope, the, the document on the table isn't in any importance. Hmm. What do we have here? Mm -hmm. Don't think this is anything. What is this? Oh, uh, baby names. Oh, that's cute. If it's a boy or a girl. Very cute. Okay. What do we got here? Got, what is this, tube of lipstick? Doesn't tell me anything. No. And is this a Mother Mary? Jesus? Oh, no good to me. Yeah. Okay. Oh, just knocking over lamps. Sorry. I, I, you know. We, we try. We try to keep everything on the level here, but you know. Cole is a bit tightly wound. Sometimes you just knock stuff over. Can't help it. Hmm. Anything else here? Hmm. Yeah. Doesn't feel like we, we got everything. Anything around here? No, no, no. Nothing else in the bedroom, huh? Nope. No, all this seems like we investigated. Hmm. Yeah, there's the portrait of the car that may have been the one from the scene. Hmm. I mean, we could try to look for the clue with intuition, but it feels like that's not a good use. Anything with the, the clothing on the rack there? We got the flag. Yeah, lots of images of Jesus. Hmm. So what happens if we use this? Huh. So... Show all clues. Hmm. Interesting. So how many clues do we got here? We have the breakfast plates. But we don't have... Why, why don't we have the, the flag as a clue? Yeah. Why, why can't we look at the flag? Like, is that not... Count as a clue? Hmm. Uh, we not do anything with this? Huh. I wonder if there's anything outside? Because this door looks like it can open, right? Yeah, okay. Hmm. Okay, anything up on the balcony here? We like look into one of the windows. Is there like another apartment that we can enter? No, nothing here. Anything out back? Hmm. Yeah. Oh, 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 this looks like we can go inside. Yeah. Okay. What do we have? Oh, oh, hello, hello. We have Packard wheels. It looks like Valdez gets his wheel back. Okay. So we found the stolen wheels. Presuming these belong to the same the same car. Alright, so we have chisel. Nothing particularly interesting. Hammer. No blood or anything. Again. No. Alright, so anything else in here? Oh, do we have the diplomatic plates here? Yes, yes, diplomatic. Aha. Uh -huh. Diplomatic license plate. Yep, we got the plates now, so we can link them to the, the crime with the wheels. Okay, oh, we got all the clues now. Okay, good. 
All right, so let's have a little chat now. Let's see what uh, she'll give us now that we have all this hot, juicy information. I don't remember to look outside. I keep forgetting that that's an option. That it's not just inside the house. You're in serious trouble. Ms. Yeah, it's, it does not look good. But Gabriel is not here. I have done He was here wrong. very recently, though. Okay. Hmm. All right, let's, uh, what's the motive? I mean, I think we know what the motive is. Probably to, maybe, uh, it's either monetary or maybe revenge against Why did he steal the car, Anna? The, 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 uh, the ambassador. Him. He has his honor, no? Okay, um, all right, so what can you tell us about his that? His honor, Anna? Yeah. He said Dewey's friend tried to make a woman out of him. Oh. He no longer respects this man, Dewey. He oh, took the car to interesting. show this maricon that he is a man. Huh. Interesting. So, wh when did you last see Tell him? Tell us the truth, Anna. Has Gabriel been I mean, here? you we, we know there are two plates for breakfast. I haven't seen him for at least three nights. Oh, you are full of it. We, we The breakfast plates have got to be the you evidence, keep lying right? To me, and I'll send you and your baby to jail. Damn. He lives here, but he hasn't come home. I swear it. No, 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 no. He does live here, and he Enough, had breakfast Anna. here this morning. There are signs all over this place that he's been back. Come on. You're, you were very poorly night. keeping this secret. I have never seen him so angry. Okay. He went out to his shed and put some things in it. Okay. I don't know what, and I don't want um, to know. So it's the tires and, and the license plate. I love plate. him. Okay. So, we know about the plates. We found a license plate matching our stolen uh -huh. vehicle in the shed. Add in the assortment Pretty of parts. Pretty incriminating. We Gabriel for a dozen other thefts. It's time to get serious, Anna. Yeah, you tell us the truth. questions of Gabriel. I know nothing of these car parts. Oh, come on. Yeah, I don't... Your body language is betraying you. <laughs> then tell us where he is. If your baby is born in prison, Anna, the corrections oh, officers will take it from you. And we're being a he real bad cop. will daughter through a metal grate for half an hour a week. Oh, my God. The start line is on 1st and Santa Fe. There is a spillway under the bridge that okay. leads to the river. And what about it? Many policia have wrecked trying to follow him. Oh, are we gonna have? Oh, cause he's driving, we'll right? Put in a good word for you, Adam. Oh, as far as we're concerned, this sits with Gabriel. Okay. Start line. That sounds. Yeah, like a we're gonna race we're, we're gonna get a race on. It's gotten out of hand this last year. No wonder okay. Delgado has such an eye for fine automobiles. Yeah, he's a racer. See, this is what I mean. Like, this is a you great opportunity a for a Fast and Furious movie. And get him off the streets. All right. I don't know if our car is going to match up to that, though. Huh. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Wait. Our car is... Oh, they moved it for us. Well, that's very kind of you, L.A. Noir. A legal street race. Oh, hell yes. Oh, I did not think we were going to get to participate in a, a street race. Oh, the stakes could not be higher. 